What's going on guys, Sid for the win here and we are back with our franchise mode with the Vancouver Canucks just getting into the free agency period here and um, yeah there's a few prospects that I definitely definitely want to go after here. Um, I don't really think any roster players are necessary. I mean, we could afford one, maybe a third liner. I don't know. I still don't think it's extremely necessary. I'm going to see how these jumps get, and then we'll figure out from there. But um, all right. Now, I know there's a couple in here that were can't misses. At least one that's a for sure can't miss. Uh, not you, enforcer guy. Uh, this guy, maybe 72 at 20. Like He's not a can't miss guy, so I'm going to sign those first two guys that I know. Um... I just could not pass up on this. That was, wait, no, he wasn't the main one. Hornquist is one, but he's not the main guy. And the main guy, yeah, this Eaton guy. This guy right freaking here. Right wing power forward. He's a lefty. His defensive stats, they don't look the most even, but his shot blocking stick checking is so good. And he's almost up to 80 for the awareness. Um, his offensive stats are pretty good for 77, and he's got a gr pretty good shot. Good skater. Not as great physically, but I still, I still think this guy could be a breakout guy. And maybe even if, you know, his stat wise doesn't break out um, into a heavy producer, at least we could, should be able to get some uh, nice value for it. Now here's another one, another power forward guy. He's 20 with the red elite. Then there's also the 73, 20 red elite. And this guy I like because it, look at his defensive stats, how even they are. If, if this guy could at least turn into a third liner, that would be solid. So I'm going to sign this guy as well. Make sure I get him. And I might as well go for this Motsko guy too. Another power forward. I know he's only 72. Um, but maybe. Although maybe I don't want that many of them. Man, yeah, maybe I just want to stick to the two guys. Yeah, I think I actually just want to stick to the two guys. I don't I don't want too many of these guys. Because then I won't have as, an, enough places to play them for the most part. Or I might not. All right, and I think that was it, really. I'm going to double-check everything, but I'm pretty sure that was it. I mean, I take a chance on this guy, but he's top six with only the uh, offensive defenseman stats, which isn't great. Or what am I, uh, with the uh, top six potential with, as an offensive defenseman is not too great. But, <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, Yeah, I think that was pretty much it. So, I mean, I could always take a chance on that Motsko guy, but this guy is the main guy. Hornquist is a maybe. So, how many roster slots do I have? Is it worth it? That's that's just what I have to ask myself. Is that worth it? Because, I mean, like I said, e any of those guys could technically break out. The 77 has the best chance, but um, the other guys always, you know, they still have a... Do I have to go to in the system here? There we go. Okay. Sort by overalls here. Kemp, he's, he's NHL ready. Kadoman, Elvin, as some of these guys, we could shift around, trade off, something like that. Um, London, 78, the top nine. Sniper. You know what? I'll, I'll just sign him. Whatever. Even if I don't play someone, I don't play someone. It's not the end of the world. I'm, wait, I didn't even see how many roster slots I had. That was the main thing I was supposed to check, and I was just looking at the players. Oh, yeah, no, we still, if we sign, yeah, we'll still have five roster slots available, even if we sign this other guy. So, that's pretty solid. Yep, all right, I'm going to sign him. Screw it. The more, the merrier. The more chances, the better their roles will be. I don't know. I'm <laughs> thinking of a really good metaphor there and like i i thought i had something in my head and then i tried to put it into words and i just sounded actually dumb so there you guys have it here we are okay make sure i get him as well all right so i'm gonna sign those three forwards no real defenseman in there who i'm too interested in signing so that's all right now we can advance a couple days here, and there's no real roster players. Let me double check that, see if I want some kind of a depth guy, third, fourth liner. I don't think so, but I'm going to check that anyway. I, wish, I just want to do my diligence here. So let's just sort by overalls here. Forwards. Oh, that would be the wrong trigger. There we go. So first line, second line-ish. Little might have to go this year, um, but that's that's another story. Third line ish. Hopefully he jumps. I'm hoping Shushko jumps. He might not, which sucks. But ugh. we'll see. Um, 
Yeah, we might actually want someone here because we got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. We might want, eh, because these two guys most likely. Actually, you know what? We don't really need someone. Actually, no, yeah, Boucher is not. Actually, yeah, we do. Let me sign at least one person here. Yeah, I'm going to sign at least one person, maybe a nice third liner there. And then, because we're hoping Shushko can kind of maybe jump. He might not. He probably won't, to be honest, with how he was, at least that price was going. I'm hoping he does, but he might not jump a huge amount. So if he doesn't, that kind of sucks, but we'll have to deal with it. So we want someone here who's good defensively. Ooh, Komarov is really good. Lefty, too. He's 35, though. If he starts declining, actually, if he starts declining, oh, he wants a bit of money, though. Yeah, that's it. At three point, that's too much, man. That's too much that he wants as a third liner. Armia. No. Lindbergh. No, no, no. Lappin. Why do I know this name? Oh, didn't we have the, Yeah, I think we had this guy in Montreal or something like that. I don't know if I need the right handed guy. He's pretty cheap, though. Slepeshev. Not good enough. Boma, how's Boma? Ah, Boma's pretty good. Yeah, Boma's actually pretty damn good. He's listed to be fourth line too, so affordable. No team's interested, only wants one year. That might be the best. Felino. Felino's not bad either. Yeah, Marcus Felino and Boma, they're both kind of similar players. Osner. Oh, I think this guy's going to jump back up. Yeah, him. he must jump back up. He's got some bad morale, it looks like. Felino, Boma. Mm. You know, I'm going to sign Boma. As, actually, as, as 70 discipline. Ah, Felino's got the same discipline. Okay, let me hold off on both of those guys. Martinuk, not great enough defensively. Janmark, nope. And getting into the lower guys here. Yeah, I'm thinking one of those guys would have been the best. Yeah, and they, they might just be depth anyway, so... Uh, I skipped him on. No, I didn't. They're up here. Boma. Yeah, Boma. I think I'm going to sign Boma. Yeah, Boma. I'm, I, I like that. All right. So one year for, let's see if I could save a bit of money. 2.25. No one else is interested. I should be able to get him for this. And if I don't, it's not a big deal if I don't get him. This is just like a bit of depth and a bit of something. We could, we'd still have a couple mil to work with as well. So let's see if we get everyone that we're trying to sign. All three prospects and Boma here. And... Should help us. Okay, we got Eaton, we got Boma, and we got Motsko, and we got Hornfist. So that's everyone. All right, now we can sim up to the next season, see the, the, what the lines are going to look like, see what kind of jumps we get, and it all should be gravy. So I'll see you guys then. All right, so here we are, and we definitely need uh, some work to do. Yeah, Broussard starting to get on the declining side of things. He's got one year left. Same with Little, who actually declined a bit more than I thought he would. I mean, I knew I was going to start declining, but that's a bit. So... Yeah, a couple things here, but the good news about Little is we we have some we have some stuff to look forward to. Now, who you're not seeing is someone who jumped up quite a bit, and that's Kemp. 85 playmaker now. That's great news. At 22, 85 already, he's probably going to jump out of that top nine role. I'm thinking he should be at least the second liner. He wants to be on the third line right now, so I'll, that's where I'll be putting him. But we need to make some moves here, I think. Um, this is a retool kind of year. We, there's a few moves to make. Stetcher, he's a top four. All right, he can't play in the top six anymore. I think he's got to go because Gabrantz is not good enough. Um, I mean, what am I trying to say? Yeah, Lilgren is done. Lilgren's done. He's 23, only still 79. He's not going anywhere, man. So Lilgren, he can be moved. There's a few guys here who can kind of be moved. Now, we don't really have another top six guy, so we'll have to pick up one by the looks of it. And yeah, there's a, a, what, what? Oh shit. Okay. Hold on. Sorry. Um, we also have to make some goalie trades as well. Like Kovalev, I'm liking how he's looking 80 overall, but then we also have this Gogolev guy who's listed to be a starter. Who's now 79 overall. I'm thinking it's time to make some room in that sense too. Maybe use Gogolev. Um, I know he's a starter, but we also also kind of have a backup. He might have some decent value we could ship off at 21, 79, you know what I mean? We do we do need to ship off some goalies. We do have too many. And I know someone pointed that out. I definitely agree. Veva Linen could even move too. So like Veva Linen, Marmalin can back back it up, but I like this uh this new guy, this Kovalev guy. He might be a really good backup in the future. 
So I'm probably going to keep him, ship off some other guys with value, um, and we'll find some stuff to work with. Now, what I want to look for is perhaps a couple guys around Horvat's age, 26, 27 area. All right, and kind of line up, you know, Besser, Shishko, all these kind of younger guys. I think Kemp is even, what, 22 or how old is Kemp? 22. Yeah, he's 22. So we're going to be turning over, we're going to be turning it over to some of these guys. Now, Broussard, we could still use this year, but we might want to trade him as well. Uh, Little's definitely got to go. He's he's just not good enough. Broussard, I think we could hold on to. We could let him run out his contract. He's still useful, um, but Little's got to go. And then someone's got to play second line center. Sutter can move over to the wing if he needs to. And uh, someone can get scratched here, unfortunately. Maybe Kreider's the odd man out. That's who I'd probably sit would be Kreider. Because everyone else is good here. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I like Kreider. But at the end of the day, man, the defensive awareness is going to bring him down. He's going to take some penalties. And while he does kind of fight for us, ah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not, I, th we, we could, we could have better players in there. So I think it's time to make some trades basically. Um, then we'll have to probably <laughs> obviously get the lines going again, but we need, we definitely need a retool and we need to start it right now. All right. So we don't want Kemp to sit at any time. Kemp's got to play. Um, we got to hope that he breaks out now. Shushko, we might want to trade him, but we can give him one more year. The problem is his, his value might drop more. Lilligren's got to go. So Lilligren, he's on he's on the block. I'm thinking uh, also, what's his name? Oh, shoot. How far is his... Uh, oh, no. Can't have dropped that far. I'm looking for Stature. That's who it is. Stature, yeah. So we could pick up a solid top six, probably in a straight up deal for this guy. So that's kind of what I'm going to look for. Maybe actually get a, a bit more for him as well. So let's see any top sixes around here that we could find. Someone solid. We need someone solid for the top six. Ooh, 19 at 77. Damn. He could, well, he could be better. Okay. This guy's listed to be top six, 28. So he shouldn't, eh, defensive stats not too strong. Okay. We'll keep looking. We'll keep looking here. Um, Morrissey didn't turn out to be anything interesting. Um, how's this? De those defensive stats are okay. Kind of spread out though. No. Yeah, no, none of these guys. I'm looking for a perfect kind of top six guy. 83, 84. Uh, okay, Zaitsev. Eh, 30 years old though. Although, he's pretty damn good. All, all right, hold off on Zaitsev. He's decent, but maybe, I like I said, I want to find guys around the right age here. Uh, Schuster, 31 again. Bit too old. Real, oh, he's so good defensively. Oh my goodness. Ooh, three years left though. That's a bit much, especially for that contract. Yeah, it's a bit much. Okay. Um, Schuster did look good though. Alrighty. Uh, Dumoulin. No, nope, no, nope, none of these guys really. Although this guy. Eh, not good enough. Yeah, none of these guys. All right, we got to find the right players here. So there's going to probably be quite a few trades in this episode, but it's we need we need them basically. We need these trades because what we're doing, what we had was not working. I'm hoping that, you know, obviously this guy's probably listed to be top 6 though. No, actually listed to be top 4 even at 84. Okay. I loved Stetcher, but like he's in that no man's land where like he's not good enough for the top four, but he's listed to be a top four guy. So I have to, I, I really do need to find a top six guy, which is looking harder. So I might have to settle for a guy who is 30, 31, just to place Phil until we could replace someone, which isn't a terrible, uh, but it's not ideal, but it's looking more and more like that's what we'll have to do, which like I said, isn't the biggest deal. Nope. None of these guys. All right, New Jersey, Santini, 27. Ooh, defense awareness is only 84, but look at that shot blocking and stick checking. Defensive defenseman, discipline, though, is an issue. How many penalties does this guy take? Yeah, quite a few. He takes quite a few penalties. He, I like him, but let me hold off on him because that's, that's quite a few penalties. How about D-Dems? Holy crap, his defensive awareness is... Oh, okay, hold on. DeMello. Although, with his potential, I'm a bit worried that he starts dropping. There he is the right age. Two years, ooh, two years left on that deal. That's actually, that's such a good deal. Wow. Oh, his, his other stuff is crap, though. It's like offense and stuff like that. I mean, we don't need him to be that guy. 
at all. Like, we don't need him to be offensive. He, that's, okay. All right, DeMello, that's definitely an idea. And we could pick up some other stuff for him. The thing I'm a bit worried about, though, is his potential listed to be 7th D. Does that mean he's going to drop even though he's only 29? That's the one thing that worries me. I don't think he, he shouldn't. I think that might be just left over from what his actual potential is, which I believe he is 7th D potential in this game. So I guess he w rose above that. And that's, I think that's what it comes down to. But yeah, I mean, his defensive stats is really good. And we could pick up some extra stuff. They don't want to give up to Mello, but we, they want, what's his name? And we could probably steal some picks from him too. Maybe not a second, but definitely a third. Like, DeMello and a third for Stetcher. I'd kind of be happy with that. All right, so we'll, New Jersey DeMello is a really good option seeming like the best option so far but i'm gonna keep looking because i don't want i want to be sure here all righty uh none of these guys la what do you got mcnab nope yeah i'm I, I keep thinking back to demello now at this point he just seems really good no navara not bad but i think he's yeah, he's a lefty yeah, DeMello is really, I really think that's the best deal here that we're going to get. And he seems the best, he's the best for the age-wise, defensive stats are good. I didn't check his discipline though. So I should actually, ooh, how about this Morin, Morin guy? No, nah, not good enough. Alright, um, let me go back, let me actually go back to New Jersey, because I didn't check his discipline. How is his discipline? 82, Okay. And he doesn't, he actually, it's sporadic, his penalties. He kind of does still take some penalties, not as much as the other guy was at all. Yeah, but defensive defensemen always seem to take penalties at the same time. But those defensive stats are pretty solid. Although, if he's taking about that many penalties, the same as that other guy, why not go with the other guy if they're still going to take the same amount of penalties? Now, I can't remember what team this guy was on, but I'll look for him again. Shoot, what the hell was his name? I think, ah, man. Now I'm forgetting what the hell his name was. Oh, no. I'll find him eventually, though. Hopefully, unless I already passed him. But I'm pretty sure... I'm being really freaking uh, crazy about this. But I think it's gonna... Was he on the Sharks? No. Shit, man. I can't remember where this guy was now. Oh, man. I think I already... <laughs> ah god damn it wasn't matheson no it wasn't schuster i think it was before schuster so hold on zaitsev no it was no this was before that oh my goodness now i can't find the guy now i forget what the hell team he was on i'll find him though i knew it had to be on one of these guys Spiza, no it wasn't Spiza. maybe he was on here Holy crap, where the hell was... Oh, man, now I can't remember. Hmm. <laughs> God damn it, I hate when I forget stuff. It's bugging the crap out of me. It wasn't Morrissey. No, no way it was Morrissey. No, no, no. Like, I, I remember what his stats were, but now I just... Ugh. Yeah, it wasn't any of these guys. Oh, my God. I can't even remember now who it was. But, yeah, I think, I honestly think DeMello would be better anyway. He just seems more solid. Plus the discipline. I don't know. I feel like it would come into play more, that discipline. Plus, we can get a bit extra back. for. I'm going I'm to go for DeMello here. I'm not going to think too, too much about it. I'm not going to overthink it. But I think DeMello is definitely a great option here. And we could take back a third for him. And that should be good. Stetcher, ship off a bit of cap too for DeMello and a third. Not quite. Uh, you need to sweeten the value a touch. Okay, well, I want that third, so I'm going to throw in some... They don't want later picks, but they'll take one. I'll throw in a fifth with it. That should push it across. Maybe a bit too much. Let me throw in something later than that. I'll start with a six and then work down from there. Okay, oh, now they're saying trade block crap. <laughs> Whatever. I might have to not take that third, but I want that third. Yeah, I might looking like... 
I could, I don't know, would a fourth even be worth it to move up one slot? Maybe. Okay, we got it for a fifth, so that's good. All right, so first train made. I like that one. I'm really a fan of that, I'm not going to lie. So there we have it. And we do need to find some kind of a top four replacement. And I'm thinking about a prospect. Some kind of a prospect to replace Good Branson eventually. Uh, we don't need him immediately. DeMello's a top six guy. He could go in there immediately. That's no big deal. Um, but we're, for our top four guy, we're kind of still using Good Branson in a couple ways. He can hang in there. Um, yeah, he's still he's still decent for there. He's helping you Levy as well. Ulevi's probably sitting there at top four for the rest of his career. That's fine. Um, but well, yeah, we do definitely, I think, need... All right, we'll just sub him in on all lines for now. But yeah, some kind of someone to replace Good Branson. Now he could be almost, he could be in the top four already, and we could just trade some more some as much value as we need for him. And yeah, so it's the guy needs to be about 86, 87 though. I don't want anything less than that. Wow, yeah, Sergachev got good. Bull U 86. Nah, I'm almost leaning more towards an 87 though. Tanev is over here. Uh, Krug, no. None of those guys. I should have just, I should also double check for that, but I kind of didn't know what I was going to do here. Ooh, 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 Seth Jones. Seth Jones, baby. Hold on a sec. Seth Jones. Now, they don't want to give him up. Kind of makes sense. But I want him. So, Seth Jones. Ah, that, oh, that's way too much money. Never mind. Way too much money. Yeah, we're going to have to look on the prospect side of things here. All right, um, Myers, actually, no, nah. yeah, I don't, I don't even know if we're going to be able to find a prospect type player, Rossinen, top four, 83, yeah, but he's for the top six, so we'd kind of, oh, he's not, I don't like his stats anyway, um, so, yeah, Bear is pretty damn good, looks to be top four already, looks like he's breaking out, but not too much more, so, we need like more of a prospect prospect and at this point it's kind of going to be hard to find one of those. So I'm going to just actually hold off on that for now. That's not as pressing of a need. What we do need to do is find someone for the second line. I mean Kemp could get there but we do need to get something back for Little. Who's oh he really yeah he really he just dropped off really quick. That sucks. Ugh. Okay. Oshi as well. I mean, Shushko might replace him, but probably not at this point. Kemp, we're hoping, still does. This guy, we got to train up. Yeah, we're we're turning a leaf right here, and it's not the greatest time to do so, but let's see what we can... Yeah, no, I, I got to ship. I got to ship one of them off, at least. Little's got nothing, though. Like, I can't... Like, I could do... I could ship him off for... And also... It's like a goalie, but, like, what do I get for that? Like... Ugh. thing about this is, uh, um, not Puminovs, who was it, uh, is this Gogolev guy is thinking about, yeah, this Gogolev guy is thinking about moving, so there we are, all right, let's see if anyone wants, okay, some guys want one of these guys, no one really wants little, and that kind of makes sense, uh, Buffalo wants him, but they don't want the goalie, there's a few teams who want him, but it, it would set him way over the cap, yeah, the teams that want them don't have the space, the cap for it. Okay, this team wants it, but we'd have to take back salary and... I mean, we, we could retain, don't get me wrong. We could retain. It's only one year left. So that's an idea. Okay, so the thing is, we... Uh, I'm looking, I'm thinking, it's got to be a forward. But what kind of a forward at this point? They have no one here, jeez. I'm on the left wing side. That's what I'm thinking of. Some kind of a left winger, but they have no one. They have just no one in general. Ouch, man. There's at home guy, but I don't think he's going to get too good. Hmm. His offensive stats are pretty damn good, but yeah, I don't know. We definitely, we definitely need to feel, I feel like we need to make a move here, but it's going to be tough. Because not many teams want this combination of guys. And who I'd want back. I mean. Oof. Like this guy's here who like why would they want to. Get, ooh this guy is, could be really good. Power forward for the third line initially. Offensive stats are really good. Okay well can, can I justify this trade? What are they looking like for left wingers? 
Ugh, not really. I mean, well, they are well, they are getting some guys for their cup run. You know, they're a win now kind of team. Definitely a win now kind of team. Giving them another goalie for the future actually, which helps them. And we're giving them a player for right now, which helps them. So, I mean, it would make sense. The Oilers at this point, really good team. You know, they got their core. Maybe they don't need some of these younger guys anymore. There's also that Chichu guy still. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking he could he could be it. Sarenheimo guy. I, I don't know. I'm kind of liking him. This is offense is pretty damn good. I don't think he's played... Okay, he played a bit in the NHL last year. Probably third or fourth line. Not bad, not great. But I like his offense and stuff. He's got good discipline for a power forward. Defensive stats aren't amazing, but they're decent enough. And if he's going to be a scorer, then hell. Let's say, let's say if we were able to go for this guy. We definitely are. The value is a bit much. And it's actually... Oh, it's already... It's already league approved, which is... Oh, yeah, because they'd have to... Now, we could probably get another pick, which I would be okay with. A third. That might be a bit much, but I'll try that. Little and Gogolev for this this dude who's kind of almost NHL ready. And a third. Not quite. Isn't sufficient. Damn. Okay. So, remove the third. We probably won't get the third. I'll try for a fourth, though. Fourth isn't bad in this situation. Still not. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, this guy's going to be tough to get because they probably don't necessarily want to give him up, but there we go. Okay, so we get a fifth for him. Not the greatest, but it's worth it. Now, that guy's ready for the NHL, but he's going to grow into his role, and that's kind of what I am what I like about that. So if we check out our lines, we, we are going to have to take a step back this year. That's just what we have to do. Broussard, Little, they weren't quite getting it done. We can move up Sutter, and that he'll, he can spot fill for now for this year. Shushko, we got to hope he gets better. Um, he might not, like I said, so let's put Kemp in there. That's how we're looking right now. Um, not Boma though, obviously. Now we can scratch Kreider. He's kind of the odd man out in this situation. We scratch Kreider. Boma could just go on to the fourth line because that's what he's listed as anyway. We have three lefties on the fourth line and then we throw in the new guy, Serenhamo. We got Gaunt scratch as well. But there he goes. He fits in that third line list to be on the third line. And then we got Shushko, Kemp, and this guy. Three young guys all around the same age. 21, 22, and 23. And, uh, yeah, Oshi, our second line is, is aging still. Now, the thing about Broussard is I kind of almost want to hold on to him because I don't know what else we could really get out of this. And I kind of almost want to still be sort of competitive at the same time. Like, I know we're taking a step back, but I also kind of want to be competitive Oh, man, this is going to be tough, but changes need to be made. We made a few here. I think we might need to make a couple more, but maybe maybe in due time. Maybe Broussard's the guy we ship off a bit later. All right, um, special teams. Besser, Oshi, Broussard. Uh, okay, um, I'm going to throw Kemp in there, to be honest. <laughs> I like him on the, I'll put, put him on the power play. See if we can get this guy. I really need this guy. I really want this guy to be a second line center for us. The problem is like, I don't like his offensive awareness and passing. That's actually pretty freaking low for what he is. But what can you do? He's really, it seems like he's really boosted up by his like shot and stuff like that. And other kind of stuff. Interesting. Sort of an interesting player, but we'll see how he works. We'll see how he produces and stuff like that. If he produces fine, I don't care. Uh, just throw Kemp in there. That's fine. I'm just throwing guys in, in places for now. Yep. Same with this. Just kind of throw them in everywhere. Yeah. I want this guy to be good for us. Alrighty. So I'm just kind of thinking what else we might need. I like Besser. He's got really solid poise. Off awareness and passing, not great. His shot's pretty decent. It's not amazing, but I like it. He's not going to get too much higher, so he might be a second liner, in which case we, we kind of need the first liner, but we did get that prospect. The question is, how long is it going to take for him? Shushko might not be able to be a second liner. Besser's for sure going to be a second liner, so maybe Shushko's the trade bait. Not this year, 
Ah, he's, he's only got one more year. We'll see. We'll, we'll basically have to judge. We'll basically have to judge. But he's not good enough defensively for anything else. So it's either got to be a scorer or he can't be anything. Besser, on the other hand, can play second line. And, uh, yeah. <sighs> okay, so now we have Kovalev to be the starter and then Marmonland. And then we, oh yeah, we still have Ava Linen who we could ship off as well in a deal. All right, so I'm just trying to I'm just trying to get my head around everything here. What else we could do here to make this make things work? Now I don't want to miss the playoffs completely. It might happen, and it might be a blessing in disguise if we do miss the playoffs. But at the same time, hmm. All right, let me look at that AHL because I know there's some guys that I needed to throw in in certain places. This Audison guy, Eaton. This guy was he? Oh my guy, he's already yeah, he already jumped up to a freaking what you call it. He's put him right on the fr actually. He's listed to be a minor scorer. I'm actually almost considering putting him on the NHL team. I'm almost considering it. I. I don't know. I just have a feeling like, what if I could break this guy out like crazy? And then that would make room for the other couple guys. McLeod, probably not going to be anything. There's a Hornfist guy. I want him. Yeah, we're going to put him on that second scoring line. Okay, London, he was a sniper guy. Switch him around like that. We'll just do that. Yeah, okay. Um, I know he's a lefty, but... This guy's technically a right winger, so I'll just put him on that side, actually. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to figure out. I know there's one more guy, too. One, of my, one more top nine guy. He's a winger, I think. Uh, Motsko, that's, that's him. He didn't he didn't grow at all, but looks like he plays center. He has decent face-offs. Let me throw him in somewhere. Uh, anyone else actually jump in? No, he's pretty done. Yeah, he's done for sure from... Yeah, he's done. So let me just... Oops. Let me just throw him in there. And you could replace McLeod because McLeod's toast. This guy can play center third line. That's not bad. Playing with Roden and <clears throat> Boucher, actually. Roenberg guy's fine. But yeah, I'm actually considering. Should I move up this Eaton guy onto the NHL and try to boost him? Just throw him in on the... If we're going to take a step back, it might be ideal. You know, throw him on like the fourth line or something like that and see how he does. I know he's not great defensively, but... I'm just thinking, if we could somehow break this guy out... I don't know. He could be a powerful player. I like his offensive awareness passing is great. Like his shot is actually pretty good too. Um, I mean, he's a good skater. Like I, it seems like one of those guys, if he could break out, he could be something special. And I, I kind of almost want to give him any, every chance to do it. Yeah. We have, we have a few of these guys that are like that, like guys who could break out. And the thing of the, 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 the reason I, I mean, he's listed as the minor score, and, like, with that red potential, I almost want to play him way above his role, like, into the NHL. So, yeah, you guys are going to have to let me know about that, and we're actually going to take this a bit slow since this is a retool. I don't think we're going to be able to get simming here. There's so much stuff that I still want to address here. Uh, our defensive core is looking better. Obviously, we're going to still need someone better in that top four, which we're, tr <sighs> it's going to take a while, so. Is there anyone else I can replace that guy with? I don't think so, no. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah, we even have a freaking a sniper. Oh, that's that's all bad. We should have signed someone, some kind of defense. We have a sniper back off the. I'll probably have to sign. I don't want to snipe it. I cut. Yeah, that guy, he's a top six guy. I don't want him back there. No, he's got to be. He's got to be on the forward end of things. Yeah, we're gonna have a very strong AHL team. We could end up scratch. We could just scratch Roden or something like that, like to put that guy in or. We'll scratch someone. We'll find room. I don't know. We have, yeah. That's another reason I want to bring some guys up. I, that's why I want to bring up Eaton. We can put that guy back. Got to get some defensemen. Yeah. So I don't know. You guys let me know about that. But I'm almost considering bringing him up just to just to play him somewhere. I'd have to scratch Delorier or Boma. I'd probably want to scratch Boma more than Delorier, although they're kind of the same age. Don't know, but yeah. I think we definitely should take a step back, but I want your guys' opinion on it for sure as well. Shishko might not become a second liner. Kemp, hoping he can still become a second liner. 
He's looking like he's still at 22 at the, at the 84. If he plays a good year, then he could. Yeah, we're deaf. We're, but yeah, we're kind of at a crossroads here where we need to start getting results. But at the same time, we can't just keep beating our heads against the wall with the same thing. So we, do, we still have some other assets that we could pick up. Yeah. All right. I'm going to actually leave it here. We'll probably have to make some more trades in the next one, but definitely a retool is needed. And I think we did pretty successful with these first trades. We got this guy. Could be a nice top six power forward. If not, could be a decent third liner as long as that defensive awareness gets up a bit more to like 81, 82. I'd be happy with it um, for a third line. And his offensive is really good. So I'd prefer him as a second liner. In our system, we got this guy we could bring up, try him out. London, trying to break him out might not happen, but could. Uh, this Hornquist guy as well. See if we can might be able to break him out. I like his defensive stats. So even if he can't get into a scoring role, his defensive stats, if he can get to the NHL, are good enough for a depth role. And that is something we're going to need. You know, Grandland 29, Sutter 33, you know what I mean? So, yeah. And then we still have some more prospect. Defensively, though, that's, I think, yeah, Lilgren's not going to try out to be anything. We got to ship him off. Um, and we need to find someone... Someone else to be a solid top four. Now, what we could do is ship off Good Branson and Lilligren for a really solid top four around 27, around all these other guys' age. You know, around maybe around U Levy's age, 24, which could be a bit tougher. I know we were looking at Seth Jones, which the salary was an issue, but if we ship off the 4.5 Good Branson is having, um, we don't really have much else to ship off after that. But we would still be within range. We'd put ourselves, you know, in a bit of a the thing i don't know i'm spitballing at this point but yeah we, we definitely need to set ourselves up to be somewhat competitive this year but also extremely competitive in the next few years which we kind of are already but i want to be over the top competitive like have too many good prospects like we have had in the past because this has been a bit of a challenge here trying to keep things realistic and also try to make make a good team it's uh i'm liking it though so let me know about any further moves here and uh we'll try we'll try to get try to get back on track here but yeah the playoffs we kept getting eliminated first or second round we got to make some changes here so let me know what you guys think and i'll see you in the next one